I didn't even know there was a name for it. So, you know, even into my teens, I did not know what was wrong with me other than how I felt. Oh, gorgeous. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to Cutting the Caboose. And in this one, I'm going to ask the question, am I trans enough? <laughs> I know. So, I've got my script here, because this is a bit, of a bit of a funny one. I've kind of part scripted and part freestyling this one. And it's something that I've, I've wanted to discuss for a while, and it's tricky to kind of put, put it down into words. So I shall try to be as, you know, uh, eloquent as I can. But this is a tricky one. It's a tricky one to, it's a tricky one to write, I'll be honest with you. So here's the thing. I see a lot of people transgender. That whole thing seems to be all over the media right now. It seems to be what everybody is talking about. It's always in the news. There'll be story, 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 and then transgender will come back. It's just never going away. And but you know, and at the moment it seems as if that's been you know, this is a new thing. But to be honest with you, it's not. I mean, I transitioned over ten years ago, and it was it was a thing then. And we had you know, you look at um, Calpurnia Adams, Andrea James, Stephanie Ann Lloyd. We've had you know, transgender people have been part of social media for forever. So so it's not really a new thing, although I do think it's changed a lot recently, which is possibly why there's so much media attention. And put it where I'm coming from here, this is going to be really flaky and vague, bear with me, okay? I've, a couple of times now I've been challenged as to whether I'm really transgender, which is odd. I am. I, 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 I grew up being male and switched to female. Now I do have De La Chapelle syndrome, which means I have female chromosomes. But that doesn't define my gender, my gender identity. I don't really know what does, other than it's something I've always felt. One of my earliest memories was that I wasn't a boy. I don't know any other words to describe that other than that. It's kind of like, I guess, trying to describe the colour green to, to a dog or something. You know, it's just something that you can see and you feel and you know, but it's very hard to explain. But when I went through my transition, when I finally decided to take steps about this, I had to go through a number of, I had to go through psychiatric consultations, I had to do with the real life test and you know, all kinds of hoops I had to, to jump through. But there was a roadmap, it was fairly clear what one had to do in order to be recognised by the establishment as the other gender. But to get to that point was very difficult. I, I didn't know whether, even though, because I, I know I didn't do girly things as a boy. I, I was I was curious and I wanted to, but I did boy things. I played with action man dolls, I guess. And I, you know, I did adventure things and I was in boys brigade running around doing boy stuff. And I was ladding, doing lad stuff. I want to say it didn't feel natural, but I just did because that's what my social group was. And that's part of the whole, you know, the gender social construct thing, you know, the behaving as, with your peers. But I always had this very strong urge that I didn't really belong in that social group. I always felt like I was an imposter putting on an act. And I always felt like I was waiting to be found out by the by the real boys, because I didn't belong in that group. I was meant to be with the girls' groups. And it's very difficult. It's really, really difficult to, to... I can't find a good way. English isn't very good at explaining how this feels. But at the point now where, even though I have the transgender element of being a transsexual, because I have female chromosomes, I have people trying to label me as intersex or something else. But the chrom chromosomes, this is this is a massive myth that usually, you know, hate groups try to peddle. That, you know, your chromosomes define what you are and that's it. You know, it's all down to these, you know, building blocks, which I mean, it's just nonsense. It's so much nonsense. But I leave that to them. I won't even go into that. It's, you know, it's been debunked over and over. You can do your own research on that one. But I really, I really fought with, I'm not really, I'm not trans enough. I'm not trans enough for transition. Didn't really know what words I needed to use. And when I was young, there was, there, I didn't even know there was a name for it. So, you know, even into my teens, I did not know what was wrong with me other than how I felt. And then I had this like handbook that, um, had the terms transvestite and transsexual in it and I also watched the Rocky Horror Show and <laughs> everything just sort of happened really quickly and I discovered this place in, in Manchester, this um, transformation clinic run by Stephanie Ann Lloyd, so, and which was I went to uh, as another story. But anywho, so that all happened and then years later uh, an, endocr an endocrinologist told me that I actually had De La Chapelle syndrome because my chromosomes were, were tested and anywho, what I'm, the point I'm trying to get to is for decades I didn't know if I was transgender enough. 
However, when I actually went for, con- for, for a consultation with um, Russell Reed, actually, many years ago, there was no doubt. It was, you know, and I did this thing called the Kogiati test, and he was like, yeah, stop wasting your time, get on with it. Now, today, everything's very different. We have, um, we self-declare our gender, and we have non-binary. Now, I guess this has always existed, but it seems to be very, it seems to be in, in the media a lot lately. Um, and I, now, I, I have to be honest here, I don't understand non-binary. I don't, I have such an innate feeling of self that I don't really understand not feeling this way but I guess it's the same for people who who don't have that I guess it's the same for people who do feel the way they do they probably feel as strongly about their non-binary gender as I feel about my gender so that's fine but I don't I don't personally understand it but live and let live uh, accept whatever there are no problems with that that I can really see that that for the individual only problems that others create and that's their problem right so um but I do get asked about it how do I know how do I know I'm trans enough and right now we're under attack we have hate groups like turfs and um, religious organizations and politicians pandering to their their demographic so and we have people constantly trying to force their labels onto us which is you know piss off (laughs) basically how people define themselves is their business only despite what flimsy arguments you try to put up to say why you have a right to define other people so when it comes to the question of are you are you trans enough yeah if you think you are you are it's this is purely for you to decide now um for for medication and to go down the medical route you may have to go through psychiatric hoops I did, and I think I think that's still the case, so that's possibly changing. But there are some precautions that you need to take to go with this before you jump in. Now, first, once you declare that you are actually the opposite gender or another gender entirely, you cannot close that door. Once that is out there, it is out there forever, okay? And also, while it's true that some be- people do detransition, I don't actually know of anyone who does, other than a couple of, you know, widely publicised cases in the media. It's certainly in the group of trans- transgender people I know, not one has detransitioned, de-tran- not one has detransitioned, so, um, but it's a big leap, and, and, and when you think of other people, your friends didn't become your friend with, you know, a gender transition in mind, so don't be surprised if you lose friends when this happens, and don't be mean to them either, unless they're being mean, but some people just don't want to deal with that, and, you know, you, that's fine, that's their choice, don't, don't be hating on people just because you know, they, 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 they become distant. It happens and everybody has a right to be an individual. Unless, like I say, unless they're being really nasty, then that's fine, but leave people alone. You don't have a right to choose other people's behavior either, okay? It's a two-way street here. Um, so I guess the question it comes down to is, don't worry too much about what you're into. If you're into blokey things, but you still feel that you need to transition, that's fine. I was. I kind of still am. I love mechanics and engineering. I also like makeup and high heels. You know, it's great. I've kind of got a bit of both there. Privilege. Hurrah. But not everybody does. Some people are very, very effeminate and, you know, portray they're very, very girly. I'm not particularly girly. I kind of kind of wish I was. It might be easier. But I'm, I mean, I'm six foot tall. I'm kind of broad. And I like what I like. I like engineering. I like computer things. I like video games. I like a lot of blokey stuff. But then so do girls. Does that make sense? We've always been girls. Do you know what I mean? So that's not unusual. It's not, you know, it's not because I'm trans, therefore I like man things. Yeah, a bit of a rambly one this. But that's kind of where I'm at. Don't be afraid of other people's labels about your transition and about whether you feel you're trans enough or not. But by all means, I do think you should take professional help. I think you should have counselling. I don't think we should be all, you know, deciding well different genders from one to the next. Not that I'm saying that happens, but I think, you know, just for your own health, for your own peace of mind, for your own sanity, it's good to talk things through like this with others and also to make sure that you you understand the chain of events that occur once you do that. Now, I'm not saying you have to be sure I wasn't sure. I put off my transition forever. But now the thought of going back? (laughs) Oh my god, no. Ever, 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 ever. And also things about your sexuality. I had no interest in guys whatsoever when I was living life as a male. None. The thought was repugnant. I was just, ah, no. 
look, good luck to you if you're gay. If that's your, if that floats your boat, then you crack on. Not for me. After transition, I'm, I'm just going to be a lesbian. You know, that's just how it's going to be. And it's only relatively recently that I've realised I've actually started to become attracted to guys, which is really odd. And I always thought that didn't happen. I always thought that your sexuality was something that happened at birth or puberty. And that stayed. That was that never moved. I, but I know a few other transgender friends who that's happened to too. I don't know how this happened. I don't know why. It just did. I didn't lose anything. I'm still attracted to women too, but I became bisexual somehow. So yeah, that was that was a surprise. So that's kind of it, really. Don't worry. Everybody I know who goes through transition feels they may not be trans enough, that they're not good enough to be in the trans club. And also there are people in the trans club. It's not a club. We haven't got a clubhouse or a motto. But there are uh, there are people in the group who will try to define what your transition has to be. It's purely down to you. It's you, it's your choice. You get to decide. It's you own it. Do not let other people own who you are, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I hope all this makes sense. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is useful to somebody. I shall see you in the very next show. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, dislike, and all of that other good stuff. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.